back. It's been so long since I've seen you guys. I hope you're doing well. It's been like, what, two, three minutes? <laughs> All right, it's handbag day, and today we actually have my second. This it was my second actual um, designer handbag that I bought. It wasn't a gift. Like, I found it. I bought it. <laughs> um, so it was the first time, you know, my, the Betsy Johnson, I do have one you will see that is my very, very first. And it was a Betsy Johnson, and it wasn't very much. Now this one was a little bit more expensive. Um, I, like, freaked when I saw it because they, at the time, especially living in California and living where I lived, these bags were very hard to find. Um, now, I can go into any Ross, any Michaels, you know, any Michaels, any Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and I'll find at least a good three or four. In fact, I have seen the one I originally wanted and still haven't bought, <laughs> um, at those stores. I just haven't bought one because I have two of these designers, um, but this is the actual first one I bought for myself. So it was kind of a big deal and I was a very happy girl. And it's a Juicy Couture. Technically, I would consider this a satchel, a velour satchel, um, or you can call it a hobo, but it's really more of a satchel type shape, and I got this, I believe it was Ross, and they did have another one there, let's see, like, I want to stuff this one. It ma has a magnetized um, opening, just dink. But um, like when I took it out of the closet, it was like it's see it's how it's like wants to just fold like that. I I want to stuff it, <laughs> stuff it with stuff <laughs> because I don't want it to lose shape, and I like to keep my bags. Um, you know, looking as new as as I possibly can. Um, there was this one and then another one, and the other one was bigger and more expensive. I paid, God, it was a Ross. Were we living in L.A. at the time? Oh, my goodness. I don't even remember where I lived at the time. I'm almost positive it was L.A. I, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was L.A. Yeah, because we were driving back home from somewhere on the way, like, on the way to L.A. So, um, and Joe stopped at a Kmart, and I went into the Ross and was looking through the bags, because that's when, like, my, my little bag, like, fever started. And I saw this, and the price was, at that time, it, was, it wasn't super cheap. Like, you can get these now a lot cheaper. Um, I think it was like 79 and then the other one they had was around 98 and it was a little bigger, but I didn't like the color. This one was darker. I think the other one was lighter. And I remember seeing it, and I grabbed both, right? 
and I was holding them because I didn't want anybody else to take them. And what they do, especially in California, I don't see it as much here, but like bags like this that like are rare, like if in California, if a place like Ross or TJ Maxx or any of those stores gets like a bag that one of the employees is going to want, they're going to stick this just like at thrift stores in the very, very, very back of all where the bags are. So I found this in the very, very back because I knew to look in the very, very, very back. And um, so I'm like walking around and I'm like, you get that um, almost like that high, <laughs> that shopping high where you're crazy excited. And I remember calling my husband because he was in like Kmart next door. I'm like, oh my God, I just found a juicy couture. It's only like seventy or seven dollars and it was originally like almost like two hundred dollars. Really, really want it, please. Can I please buy it? Oh my god. But then like this other one, it's like a little bit bigger and like the other one's like ninety something and I'm like freaking out because it I had wanted a juicy couture really bad because like at the time Juicy was like my favorite like designer at the moment. It was when I was really starting to get into, you know, higher fashion and becoming a woman. <laughs> I was in my late 20s, I believe, <laughs> mid to late 20s and, you know, starting to really want to, like, become a woman and be ladylike. <laughs> So he comes, my husband comes to the store, he's like, oh, <laughs> and so he's like, yeah, all right, okay, whatever, just get this stupid bag, because <laughs> he, it's like, he knew that from that moment on, it was going to be, because I had already been going through the makeup addict part. <laughs> Uh, he was like, oh, God, here we go again. Now it's going to be handbags. And he was totally right if that's what was going through his head. He was 100% correct. <laughs> so, um, he, he, you know, he purchased it. I, and, yeah, it's not a huge bag. I, I do have a bigger one. But um, it's a cute color. It's a nice velour purple. Um, it opens. It's got leather handles, it's magnetized opening. There's a little, there's a clasp here, and then you can, if you want, you know, close it with these. There's pockets. There's a pocket right here for, um, you know, I think I've put in like lips. Ooh, what's in? Ooh, there's like a gem. Oh, I found a gemstone. I think this came off a piece of jewelry or something and I stuck it in there <laughs> hoping to fix it. Oh look, I have an appointment. <sighs> Peace help. Um oh June twenty third of last year at eleven o'clock. Oh my god, I missed it. <laughs> no, and then like there's another pocket. This one will fit your cell phone. Um, it's a little small, but I think it fits, it fits cell phones. And it says, hello. Hello? Yeah, see, for cell phones. I get it. Hello. Cell phones. <laughs> ah, they're so clever. They are so clever. Like, I just got it. I've never really even paid attention. <laughs> um, and then it's got like a, um, what kind of cloth is that? Yeah, there's actually a tag. Yeah, see? It's got the official Juicy Couture tag on here. It says Juicy Couture, born in the glamorous USA. Um, I will read you. 80% cotton, 20% polyester, etc. 
exclusive of decoration. A Lex Lexpington lining. I don't know what Lexpington is. I'll have to look that up. So it's a Lexington lining, but I don't know if that means because um, the it's it's printed like it has it says um, now it is like getting kind of but you know I smoked back then so I probably have like little bits of icky tobacco in there. I don't smell anything, but, um, and then, like, boom, it has this mirror, and it says on this side, I am the fairest. Ah, ah it's gonna crack! <laughs> and that fits just right in there. Um, so, yeah, it's got crowns, and then it says love, juicy love all up in the inside um i really do like the magnetized clothing because it works a lot better than you would expect um and then on the outside it's got this you know the big and that's what i like about juice of guitar is that the, they make stuff really fun oh yeah and then the, there's a side pocket is there anything in there money 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 no and this is also magnetized so you could technically put like your phone here if you wanted to so and there's one on the other side i've never had to use it but i mean you can if you want to and then it's got the big heart and then right here where it opens it's got the little crown on it and you open it and what do we have what do we have <gasps> another mirror so if you don't want to use the inside one you can use the outside one and it says love and uh, what's gonna fall what's gonna fall something's falling my mirror my mirror got magnified <laughs> look You got the mirror and it says love something that I what the heck letters are those? Uh, juice of guitar. Oh, maybe uh, it doesn't look like a J or a C. <laughs> I have no idea what letters those those are. That looks like a P. Like it looks like G P. I, I am sorry, I don't know. And then on the mirror it says, I am the fairest. And my dog is sleeping on the door. So it's like, it's just another mirror. And like it had, one thing I didn't like is it did have a plastic lining over the mirror. And like there's still some of the plastic on the mirror because you have to take it off. Because it was a new bag. So like there's plastic on the mirror that you have to like rip out and it it kind of kind of sucks but um so i don't know if i'll go to the outlet and get another one this year or not i didn't go to i the first year i was here i went to the out, the outlet and i got a pants jacket like shirts they were having like an insane deal um so i got quite a few stuff from that store and i kind of i kind of like to change up where i go every year so like i didn't go last year so maybe i might go back this year i don't know but i do like i they have like an armani exchange like armani now and like i'd like to go in there and see if i can actually afford something but um yeah, so, and then last thing is the big J on the back, which is awesome because that's the letter. 
of my name, first name, Gina, J-E-A-N-A. -A. I'm a special Gina. I was almost named Selena, because I'm Portuguesa. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, that's the handbag of the week, guys. I hope you liked it. It's super cute. I'm going to stuff it and put it back up in my closet. <laughs> So, what's next week? Oh, I think it's a little one I found at the thrift store that I might get rid of. I don't know. I can't remember. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I do believe... Oh, snap. I'm glad that wasn't, like, a real ring. Um, but, I do, I think, believe I have a or more packages. I don't know how many. But I, I think there is stuff coming today. So, um, you'll probably see me again. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I really, that bag is really special to me. Because it, you know, was like when I was really starting to transition. <laughs> there was like a transition going on. I had already gone through like the makeup transition from pinup style to like all these new looks. And then, like, you know, I always had my Betsy Johnson. That's pretty much what I always used. And then I had this another bag that, like, I had pens and stuff all over. Like, like Clash, Social Distortion, and, like, you know, all my bands that I like. Um, and it was weird. It's just, like, you know, I still, all that stuff, the pen up, the vintage punk, um you know, that music, it's all still in me. That's who I am in the inside, you know. But it's, that's why you should never judge a book by its cover. Yes, I do have a couple tattoos. Um, I want more. It, it, it would look kind of odd, you know, me walking around in, like, Marc Jacobs and Dolce & Gabbana with tattoos up and down my arms, but that's, that's me, that's who I am, like, I've really been considering cutting my bangs again, because I had Betty bangs for years, and, like, that's who I was, that's how people knew me, it, it, that, that's me, but like everybody keeps telling me, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, but they loved my bangs, so I don't get it, I don't know if it's just because I've gone from, you know, and throughout the years, I have made many transitions, I used to only wear, like, totally like 19... 40s, 30s clothing, um, and then, like, moved into, like, punk rockabilly, like, I always called it skunkabilly, because everybody was like, Gina's, oh, she's a punker, no, <laughs> in fact, I'm not, I'm skunkabilly, <laughs> but, um, that's me still, that hasn't changed, that has not gone away, that's been there since I was, you know, 16, so, it's really weird, you know, because I do love fashion, and I, I love all kinds of everything, but, like, I want my pinup girl tattoo, and, you know, I had my belly button pierced, and I, there's, you know, there's certain things that, I like that by looking at me, you would never think that that's the kind of thing I'm into, but I am, so don't ever judge a book by its cover, you know, most people are going to look at me and think, oh, she's like a classy little snob, and blah, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, like, because I totally stand out here. 
I mean, I do. I wildly stand out. And I'm not saying people here don't dress up, but um, I definitely get looks. But what's funny is when I do see a girl or a guy, you know, all tattooed up, like, my husband's got tattoos. And hot. I love guys with tattoos. Like a big, you know, like I like like he wears dickies, like shirts and dickies pants. That's what I'm attracted to. I'm attracted to like, you know, Mike Ness. <laughs> like he is like oh like in his fifties now, but. Like, oh, I, you know, I, that's my type. You wouldn't think it, but it is. Um, and I'll see, like, you know, a girl, you know, with the Betty Bangs, you know, or walking around in, like, a, a really cute, like, pin-up style dress. And I'm like, oh. so I want to kind of start because they're so hard to find one and when you do find them they're very expensive those kind of dresses like because when i wore stuff like that i was getting the real like real real from vintage stores um not the like new made torrid style of like you know, rock rockabilly or psychobilly or, you know, what they consider to be, like, pinup looks. No, the stuff I wore, I bought from, like, people wore that back in the 40s. I still have those clothes. I was, like, a size 2 back then, but, you know, I had these high heel wing-tipped shoes, black and white, so cute. I used to go to ska shows all the time. Um, yeah. But, um, I hope you like my bag. <laughs> and I'm just trying to say, that's why, I just don't, don't ever look at a person and go, oh, they must be this, or they must be that, or they're not, like, you know, if they're all tattooed up, or goth looking, or whatever, don't just up and assume, oh, they're like on drugs. That's the kind of stuff that I, I can't stand because that's who I hung out with in high school. And yeah, so don't do it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I did take a little bit too much time. I'm sorry. When I, I like pick a subject that like I'm really into, I, I will go off about it. So I'm really sorry. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. I'm not going to put a cover on this. I'm going to just find um, a thumbnail that I like and then pop that up there. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you. And I'll hopefully see you in a little bit. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye.